The palace of the Asagba of Asaba was enveloped in grief when we arrived, following the official announcement of the passing of the revered monarch. Prior to the announcement was a warrior performance by the Ogus, known as Warlords, and traditional 31-gun salute rented the air in honor of the late monarch. <laughs> To prevent a vacuum, the second son of the deceased, Dr. Anthony Edozie, was announced as a regent. <laughs> With this arrangement, he is empowered to sit on the throne and perform the role of a monarch until his brother, the first son, returns from abroad to assume his role. Some of Asaba indigents looked back with fond memories of the late king. We are not happy that he has left, but uh, he has lived a long time, 100 years. It's not 100 days. Uh, it's a great loss to Asaba, it's a great loss to the country. The late Asaba of Asaba was in fact the first medical doctor to head a Nigerian university, medical, medical department. When things like this happen, it's for us to learn and become more humble to things of life. This aspect of it is mainly traditional. The next one will be to constitute a committee to plan a befitting burial for His Royal Majesty. The Asaba of Asaba late now was an achiever and he achieved a lot for Asaba. At least in most of the traditions that were more important, he helped with his influence to change them for the better for Asaba. Well, for every child who loses a parent, there's nothing that you can do but more. No matter how long they lived, it was never long enough. But I also celebrate this man because he left such a legacy, of exemplary legacy. He was a leader, he was a father, he was a brother, he was a friend to many. And I think he symbolizes what we hope for our country. Born on July 28, 1925, in Asaba to the family of Edozie, he was the first black African indigenous dean of medicine in a foreign land. He reigned for 33 years and was 100 years old. Tessie Coca, NTA News.